everybody and welcome to another rather wonderful time team. Um, it's amazing to think one of the dreams archaeologists have, I think, is going into an ancient cave and going down through the layers so that you're traveling into the past of a mysterious group of people who once lived in this part of Scotland, the Picts, the painted people, about which we know very little apart from all these wonderful carvings and some rather imaginative pictures of them that come from Roman authors like Tacitus. And uh, those descriptions give us an idea of a very creative people. And, and it's fascinating to think of them existing and the remnants of them are in these caves up uh, in Scotland. And it's always wonderful for us to be in these new situations and you see Phil and the rest of the team and Mick trying to work their way through the layers. And that's really important, stratigraphy. And often the top is covered with modern materials so that we know of one of these caves, somebody drove a car into one of them and set fire to it. So there's quite a lot of stuff to go through. But there's some wonderful moments in this program. Um, I love the fact that Bridget and Matt keep trying to go further and further back and see if the mysterious tunnel exists and is linked to the castle. And there's one of my favourite Victor illustrations, uh, which you can keep an eye open for, which is a hermit sat in a pool, uh, which, is, which is great to see. Um, and the local people as well, the local archaeologists and the, and the people who work in that area were able to give us all sorts of interesting support and help. We had an environmentalist and you see the importance of getting those materials together and having that material looked at at a later date and carbon dated. And there's a very interesting um, carbon 14 date that comes out at the end. So this material gradually assembles and the question is, by the end of those three days, how much nearer can we get to the mysterious picks? Um, one or two wonderful things turn up. Um, one of Time Team's most interesting finds, um, an original find which nobody had ever seen before. And I love the fact that Phil was able to go down in those layers and gradually get nearer to the people who actually occupied these caves um, nearly 2,000 years ago. Um, it's interesting in the context of coastal erosion because in Britain, like in many places, the sea is coming further and further into these sites and basically destroying them. We worked at Sea Henge uh, in an area where the sea is gradually reclaiming that land and here too in Scotland, uh, climate change means that the rise, rising of the oceans is gradually eroding the coastline. So this was always a bit of a rescue dig as well. Looking at it, it occurred to me how much I'd have liked to have sort of had you alongside in the cave with us um, when we were digging uh, there. And we're looking now at a whole range of different technologies so that when we go off on a shoot, in the new programs that are coming up, we'll be able to show you almost as live information about what we're doing and also answer some of your questions. Um, so the idea of getting as much material out to you while we're actually filming is something we're trying to aim to do. So please keep back us on, backing us on Patreon. We can't do it without you. I hope you love this uh, particular program, uh, Weems Caves, and uh, you look forward to seeing it. I certainly enjoyed it. And as I say, keep a lookout for some wonderful illustrations from Victor and a great example of some jewellery being made on a time tee. So it's all together, I think, a, a really satisfying programme, which I hope you enjoy. can't do any of this work without you so please subscribe back us on patreon and make sure that time team 
comes back again.